Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode in our series Solving Wasi Pass Questions. This is Kujo Japon, your host, and I'm glad you're joining me today. Grab your seats and let's get to work. So what do we have on our plate today? This is going to be exciting. It's this 2018 Wasi Elective ICT Paper 3. And as usual, we have three problems to solve under two hours. Make sure that you read the instructions, very important, to save us from chaos and distraction. Uh, I'm just kidding. There is no distraction in this exam. <laughs> all right. So what we do here, read, and basically it all boils down to how to create your folder on your desktop using your initials and then your index number all together. So that is basically that. So I do mine and I expect you to do yours. And let's get back to the problem itself. Now we skim ahead to problem number two, which is a database problem. And this is the problem. Create a database application and save it as mock in the folder that we created. So let's bring out our database management software um, system software. So that is our DBMS software. We're going to use access. So that is access. And it will be good if we just snap these two side by side and so that we can work effectively. Now we're supposed to create a blank database. And from the question, we are supposed to save it as a mock. And where should we save this? Of course, in our folder on our desktop. So we navigate to our folder. Oh, that was not our folder at all. We just dumped it on our desktop. All right, so open our folder. And here we are in our folder as indicated by the path here. So we can go ahead, create our database file. And we are sure on our way to go. All right, that is too much. All right, so that is a better view. So we can go ahead. Problem number 2A, create the structure for the table using st underscore id as the primary key and save it as exams. So our table will be named exams and we have to create this field. So what do we have to do? Go to the design view, which of course access will tell us or ask us to save the table before we can go to the design view. And we, the question says we should save it as exams. So we do that. And here we are in our design view. So quickly we have to create these fields. Basically, a level, STID, math, English, and French. So first field, level. And mind you, because this data, the data in the cells are all numbers, it is appropriate that our data type will be made to assume a number data type. So that is everything to this. So we can go ahead, create the rest real quick. And I hope that will be quick as I'm saying, because I'm very slow on the keyboard today or ever. <laughs> yeah. So math, we have math here. And data type, yes, math should be a number as well. And we go to English, 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 can't spell English. How bad is my English? Very bad. All right, so English should assume a data type of number as well. And we have French coming up with also the data type number. So that does it, but the important part assigning our primary key to st underscore id. This field should be our primary key. So you just right click and then assign the primary key. You see a small key here. Yeah, that means that you have the primary key. So of course you have to save this control s. Otherwise, when you're moving back to data sheet view, access will require you to save it. All right, so we have created our fields as expected with the data um, primary key being STID. Now we go to 2AII. Create a form that will enable users to enter data into our table above, and we should name it as eForm. 
So we're creating yet another database object. This time it's a form. So create and that is a form. So you just hit on form and basically you have your form created. But you have to save the form. So you right click on its name and save. How are we saving this from the question e form? So that does it and we have our form created. Great. Now we go ahead. What else do we have? We use the form in 2AI, that's the form we created, to enter the table or the data in the table 1, as we see here. All right, so we have our form already opened. So how do we enter the data into our table? Now we just only have to just change the view. So from layout view to form view. So from form view, we can enter our data. So guys, this is the part that you pause this video to enter the data along with me so that um, you don't watch me just do it otherwise if you're having fun just watching me do it then of course have fun so this is record one and the first entry is label level sorry second field is the student's id which is 2210097 you use the tab key to move from one field to another so that is basically that so that is all that I am doing. So sit tight and watch me do some boring work. Now, after you're done with inputting a record, a record for one, you just have to come down here, your navigation pane at the bottom here, and you see next record. Next record means you are moving from row one to row two. That is basically that to enter the data there so that is all that i'll be doing so sit tight and watch me do it And the last one, we have level one with student ID 2 1. Yeah. And we have 89 for math, 55 for English, and 43 for French. And that's basically completes everything here. So we can go ahead, click on just save it, Control S, just to save. So how do we know this has been reflected? Now we have to initially just close our table first launch it again and then you see that all that we did has been reflected in our table so that is for question 2b now we go to question 2c that i i suppose should be the last of it for our 15 marks Sheesh. so we create a query to sort the table exams by the level and math in ascending order so we're creating yet another database object so we create a query. So your create tab, query, wizard. The wizard will just do something. Take us through the creation process. Very simple. All right, so we're creating a simple query where we need all these fields to present, to be present in our query. And yeah, show me every details and finish. It just click, 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 and then we are done. All right. Now what do we have to do? We have to sort this table out, our query out by level and math in ascending order. So first off, we do that for level, we see what we got, then do that for math, and then we see what we have. All right, so right in here, we're good. So let's just broaden this so that you see full view. Awesome. So let's close every object we have for now. Concentrate on our query. All right. So dear query, what do you have for us? 
now let's navigate to our design view and in this design view we're going to start implementing the conditions that were given to us it was just basically sorting and when you come to the field properties down below here this is the sort area where we can sort our field out now here we're told to sort our level up in ascending order all right so when you do that you can run the query and see what we have and you see that the level has been sorted out so at first let me open off table so that you see the difference we have them clustered all over in no order but our ascending order sorting has brought some order so we move from level one when they are done then level two follows level three so that is the first part of it we can go again to our design view and the last part the problem says we should sort math the subject math out in ascending order two so we do that we run the query and everyone who is in level 100 every student in level one that is level one here the marks or the score for math has been sorted out in ascending order so the first math to happen here is from the top so 66 comes before 89 sorted out you jump to level 2 34 comes before 45 and then level 3 follows in that order so basically that is everything that the problem wanted us to or ch was challenging us to do and that is basically all the last part we have to save it as srt exams so how do we save an object first you have to close it yes do we need to save the changes of course of course we need to change save the changes that we did so here we can right click and rename our query to srt exams and we hit enter open it again to see that our work is there brilliant that is good so everything looks fine three database objects and we should have applied everything that the question demanded so let's go ahead and do the most important part and what is the most important part after solving your problem yes if you answered verifying the work then you are absolutely right always make sure you verify your work make sure everything you did is in there because there are some strange things up in this world right and you might realize that your folder might be empty after all so make sure that everything is in there sorted as the problem demanded and we look like yes we are on the way to capture that 15 marks thank you guys it has been amazing enjoying this ride with you guys and i hope to see you in the next video this is Kojo Japan. Thumbs up if you like this video. I'd like to say thank you for viewing and be great out there. Bye.